This is an AAX video on Bollinger Bands. Before we look at Bollinger Bands, let's have a look at who AAX are. AAX are a cryptocurrency exchange who use the same matching technology as the London Stock Exchange. With AAX, you can trade crypto through OTC, Spot and Futures Trading. What are Bollinger Bands? Bollinger Bands, otherwise known as BBs, are a popular technical analysis tool. They are used by traders all around the world. Bollinger Bands can do various things and are used to show the highs and lows of a market. Bollinger Bands allow traders to do things such as visualize trend strength, potential breakouts and also identify periods of sideways trading. How are Bollinger Bands created? Bollinger Bands are created through using a moving average, another technical analysis tool. So then, what is a moving average? There are multiple types of moving averages. There are two main types of moving averages. Firstly, you have the simple moving average, the SMA. And secondly, you have the exponential moving average, the EMA. Simple moving averages. A simple moving average is a technical analysis indicator which takes the average closing price of a cryptocurrency of the period of the simple moving average. For example, if you have a 20 day SMA, you will take the closing price from the last 20 days and divide it by 20. The SMA was created to remove short term fluctuations in price, or those become the basis for many indicators. Exponential moving average. The exponential average is similar to the simple moving average, although it places increased emphasis on the current price of the cryptocurrency. The Bollinger Bands use the simple moving average. The other two bands, seen on the top and the bottom, are created through adding and subtracting one standard deviation of the center moving average. This center moving average of a Bollinger Band is typically a 20-day SMA. So who created the Bollinger Bands? John Bollinger, an American citizen who was born in 1950, created the Bollinger Bands in the 1980s. John Bollinger is a financial analyst and has written a book on his indicator called Bollinger on Bollinger Bands. John regularly posts analysis on his Twitter and is somewhat concerned about Bitcoin's recent rally if it fails to push above the top band. If you'd like to see some more technical analysis on Bitcoin, check out the recent AAX Wyckoff analysis on BTC. What type of indicator are the Bollinger Bands? Bollinger Bands are a lagging indicator. This is due to them being created through using simple moving averages. Now that we've used the Bollinger Bands, let's see how we can use them effectively. Bullish Bollinger Bands Bullish Bollinger Bands Bullish Bollinger Bands are usually when the Bollinger Bands move from a period of sideways trading into the high regions of a Bollinger Bands in a significant move. So as we can see here, from the 11th, 10th of December, there was sideways trading period up until the 6th of July. The 6th of July then saw a significant move into the upper regions of the Bollinger Bands. This signified the start of a new trend. We can tell this also due to the expansion of the Bollinger Bands. This bullish movement, when seeing bullish Bollinger Bands, will then see the center line, the 20 day simple moving average, move up with the price, acting as support multiple times. If the cryptocurrency is regularly using the upper band as a resistance, although maintaining the positive move, this shows that the trend has likely turned bullish. So again, looking at this example, we can see that the 20-day moving average acts as support multiple times on this move up, with the upper reaches of the Bollinger Bands constantly being used as resistance, as indicated with the blue markers. So with the bullish Bollinger Bands, we know that the trend is over once a significant move below the center band has occurred. So all of the time that the cryptocurrency is using the center line as support and continuing to move up with the Bollinger Bands, this is a positive trend. 
And this one from the 5th of January happened all the way until the 16th of February. Although one significant move below that centre band occurs and then the centre band acts as resistance rather than support, this means that the trend has likely flipped, as I'm shown with this red box. Bitcoin dipped below the red band, then attempted to make another move back up, although the 20-day simple moving average acted as resistance, with the lower band acting as support. This signified the end of the bullish trend. So with bullish Bollinger Bands, it is possible to see the price hyperextend above the band, although this is quite rare. In this example, it did somewhat occur at the very start of the trend, although this was due to the Bollinger Bands being very small. It is highly unlikely that you will see this towards the end of the bullish trend. So now that we've had a look at bullish Bollinger Bands, here are a few things which we can take away from that. Bearish Bollinger Bands. Bearish Bollinger Bands are effectively the opposite of bullish Bollinger Bands. They occur after a small period of sideways trading and are first indicated with a significant move below. So as we can see in this example, from April the 24th in 2018, all the way to May the 10th of 2018, there's a small period of sideways trading as indicated with the first purple S. This occurred before the bearish Bollinger Bands. So like the bullish bands, when the significant move down occurs, the Bollinger Bands expand. As we can see, there was a contraction, only a slight one, of the Bollinger Bands during this sideways period. And then on May the 10th, once this bullish bearish move down occurs, we can see the Bollinger Bands expand. In bearish Bollinger Bands, when this move down occurs, the lower Bollinger Band will act as support, with the 20-day simple moving active average acting as resistance. During this move down, you will not see the price touch the upper Bollinger Band. If it does touch the upper Bollinger Band, either reversal or is place, or there is a period of sideways trading. So again, in this example, we can see the 20-day moving average acting as support multiple times, as indicated with the blue arrows. And we can see the lower Bollinger Band acting as support numerous times, as indicated with the black. So 20-day simple moving average resistance, lower Bollinger Band support. The end of the bearish trend will be signified typically the end of the bearish trend will be signified with a typical slowdown period. This is where the bears run out of selling power and you will see the bands contract and tighten into a period of sideways trading. So again, in this example, we can see the eventual curve off of this selling followed by a period of sideways trading before the next trend occurs. So the next trend after this was a minor bullish trend. During the sideways period of trading, the second one, as indicated with the S, you will see the price move in and out of both regions of the Bollinger Bands until a significant move occurs. During bearish moves, like the bullish moves, it is again possible to see the price hyperextend, although due to it being bearish, you will see the price hyperextend below the bottom band with the bearish moves. In this example, the price hasn't done that. So now that we've had a look at bearish Bollinger Bands, what can we take away from this? Bollinger Band Squeeze. So now let's have a look at Bollinger Band Squeezes. So Bollinger Band Squeezes are periods of tight sideways trading where the cryptocurrencies do very little. Minor price fluctuations cause the 20 day simple moving average to be relatively flat. During the Bollinger Band squeezes, you'll see the cryptocurrency, in this example, move in and out of both Bollinger Bands. So as we can see here, we have the red lines, we can see the Bitcoin is moving in and out of these bands over this 107 day sideways trading period. It is important to note that with Bollinger Band squeeze periods, the momentum is building. So imagine a slingshot. The further you keep pulling it back, 
the more momentum you're building. And then when you release it, the further you've pulled it back, the further the stone travels. This is like Bollinger Band squeezes. The longer that you pull it back, the longer that they occur, the bigger the move is. So in this example, this was a 107 day sideways trading period. Bitcoin then proceeded to move after the positive breakout from 4,000 US dollars all the way to 13,000 US dollars. The direction of the move after this sideways period depends on the breakout direction. So as we can see here with the blue arrows, there's a lot more emphasis on Bitcoin trying to break above the Bollinger Bands than below it. And then when this breakout occurred, the significant breakout, which saw Bitcoin rise all the way from $4,100 US dollars all the way up to a top of $5,100 US dollars, so increasing $1,000 in the space for day, this signified that this next big move would be in the upwards direction. A great way to visualize the Bollinger Band squeeze is for using the Bollinger Band width indicator. The Bollinger Band width indicator can also help to view the slowdown of bearish and bullish Bollinger Band moves. So what other Bollinger Band indicators work well? So firstly, you have the Bollinger Band MACD. This works really well at identifying entry and exit points. Finally, you have the Bollinger Band width, which is really helpful for identifying sideways trading periods. Thank you for watching this video on Bollinger Bands with the AAX Exchange. I hope that you managed to take something away from this and learn a bit more about Bollinger Bands. Now that we've had a look at Bollinger Bands, I'm going to tell you quickly about a new feature on AAX called the AAX Tribe. Do you feel ready to invest in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies? Well, a brilliant way to do this is through the AAX Tribe, an awesome affiliation scheme which AAX have recently released. The AAX Tribe allows you to receive commissions from traders who join the AAX exchange through you. When they trade, you earn. AAX offers an extremely competitive referral scheme, with you earning 40% from your tribe members' trades. This is 40% from the trading fees they will accumulate when trading with the AAX exchange. After earning your 40%, the earnings then go even further, with you gaining an extra 10% from second-level affiliates, meaning as your network of traders using the AAX platform expands, so does your tribe as well as your commissions. So when you sign up for the AX tribe, you'll be given a referral link and a referral code. For example, here are my tribal codes. If someone opens up account with AX and inputs these codes, they will become a part of your tribe. Although, what is in it for the user signing up with these codes? They will receive 10% off futures contracts. Everyone who joins using a code will receive 10% off futures contracts for three months. They will also have the ability to refer people to your tribe, allowing them to gain commissions and you second level commissions. Everybody wins. Thank you for watching this video. Place your trade on the AX Exchange.